Good evening, good people. I'm Father John Lager. I've been a Capuchin for 48 years. It was a night like this 27 years ago, and from a venue not far from where I'm standing now that we held the first Brown Road Benefit. Wow, how many things have changed since then. And yet, there are things that haven't changed. This year, unfortunately, we're doing this virtually, but what hasn't changed has been your wonderful support, your great partnership with us in the many ministries that we provide to the poor. Welcome to the first virtual Brown Robe Benefit Gala. We're so happy that you've joined us. We hope you'll have a great evening. Please enjoy and thank you in advance for your wonderful generosity. God bless you all and have a great evening. Good evening, good people. My name is Brother Andrew Corriente, and I'm over here in Washington, D.C., where I'm studying to become a priest. I'm in my fourth year of theology, and when I'm not studying, I'm baking. I even won season five of The Great American Baking Show on ABC. I am so delighted to be part of this evening, and I hope your time is as sweet as these treats. Welcome to the 27th Annual Brown Row Benefit. Good evening, good people. I am Cardinal Sean O'Malley, Archbishop of Boston, and more importantly at this time, a Capuchin Franciscan for 55 years. It's a blessing for me to be able to join all of you this evening by way of this virtual gathering. Thank you for coming together to support the Capuchins' lives and ministries. Inspired by our Holy Father, St. Francis, we strive to bring Jesus' mercy and compassion to people in all circumstances, especially our brothers and sisters in greatest need. Pope Francis has noted that this year, marked by the challenges of COVID-19, we can be like the disciples on the Sea of Galilee, caught off guard by an unexpected turbulent storm, we have realized that we are in the same boat, all of us fragile and perhaps at times disoriented, but called to row together to comfort one another. This work is made possible by you, our friends, who so generously respond to the Lord's call to discipleship as you assist us with our mission. Thank you for your concern and your kindness. Allow me now to formally welcome you to the 27th Annual Brown Robe Benefit. Please enjoy the program. Good evening, good people. I am Brother Mark Shank, Provincial Minister of the Capuchin Province of St. Conrad, and I am pleased to welcome you to the 27th Annual Brown Robe Benefit. I'm speaking to you from the watch party of our generous presenting sponsors, Roy and Sue Jackson. I'm excited about this evening. We have planned for you and I cannot wait to see how it unfolds. The theme could not be more fitting because the Capuchin Order was born during a pandemic and earned its early reputation by working with plague victims. Everything old is new again and the timeless call that beckoned the earliest Capuchins still resonates in us today. Embracing the boldness of those early friars, as the world began to close its doors in fear of the coronavirus, the friars of the province began to open theirs. We opened the doors to our chapels, virtually at least, by live streaming Sunday Mass from St. Francis Friary and Sunday daily Good Morning Good People reflections. We opened the doors to our food truck, partnering with the Denver Mayor's Office to serve thousands of meals to elderly, immigrant, and vulnerable people. Today, the number of homeless people is on the rise. More families than ever are experiencing problems due to isolation, unemployment, and stress. People are looking for some sense of stability, for assurances that things will be all right. At the same time, our resources have dropped because of canceled masses and retreats and the closure of some of our ministries. Your help is urgently needed if we are to continue responding to the timeless call. We are very grateful for your past support and we are counting on it again this evening. Your generosity this evening will help the food truck keep delivering not just food, but hope and spiritual comfort to people experiencing homelessness and hopelessness. 
your contributions will provide means, the means for our friars to continue reaching out with the merciful hands of Christ to the elderly, the imprisoned, the desolate, the sick, and the dying. Your generosity this evening will help us to educate and form the next generation of Capuchins. We are living in unprecedented times. We are blessed to have 18 young men in formation, an unprecedented number for our province. You can ensure that the Capuchins will continue to answer the timeless call far into the future with your contributions this evening. I want to thank in a special way our presenting sponsors, Roy and Sue Jackson, who have opened their doors to me this evening, as well as all the other sponsors of tonight's event. We are delighted that Kim Christensen has joined us for a second consecutive year as our MC, and hope that she will continue to grace us for many years to come. And of course, it would not be a brown rope benefit without Gary Corbett as our auctioneer. We have a great program for you this evening. I hope you enjoy it. We begin as always by invoking the blessings of God on our gathering. The invocation this evening will be offered by Father Raniero Cantalamessa, a Capuchin of the province of the Marches in Italy. Father Raniero is the preacher of the apostolic household, which means that he preaches to the Pope and the Cardinals living in Rome every Friday during Advent and Lent. He holds the record for the longest serving apostolic preacher in history, having held this position for more than 30 years. And since I lived in, in Rome and worked with him for many years, I can also say that he is a really nice guy. So let us listen to and pray along with Father Raniero. of the Denver Capuchins, peace and joy to you all. My dear brother, uh, Mark Sheng, asked me to address you a greeting, a word of encouragement and a blessing. You may have never heard of me, so let me shortly introduce myself to you. I am Father Raniero Cantalamessa. My ministry since the beginning of the pontificate of St. Paul, John Paul II back in 1980, uh, till the present day, is to preach regularly in Advent and Lent in the presence of the Pope, the Cardinals, and the prelates of the Catholic Church in the Vatican. I have just celebrated my 40th anniversary in this position. This is a ministry traditionally entrusted to the Capuchin Order. Once a fellow American Capuchin said to me, partly joking and partly serious, I do not believe you are such a great preacher, they say. You have been preaching to the Roman Curia for so many years and I don't see any significant conversion taking place there. I said, my brother, the worst thing is that the preacher himself is still waiting for his conversion. So let me first of all thank you on behalf of the Capuchin Order for your support and your friendship to our Denver brothers and their provincial, uh, Brother Mark, with whom I spent many years in the General Curia, admiring his spirit of service, his dedication, and his prayer also, the life of prayer. Jesus said once, whoever gives a glass of water to a prophet will get the reward of the prophet. And I know you give more than a glass of water to these humble ministers of Christ and disciples of St. Francis of Assisi. So let me give you my blessing. Lord Jesus, bless all these men and women, their families, their children and little children, uh, their grandchildren, bless their work and business, keep them safe in good health, 
preserve them from the present scourge of the pandemic, and prepare for them a chosen place in your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. A big virtual hug from Rome across the Atlantic. Good evening. I think I felt that hug. We know you felt that hug from Rome. I mean, that was just a beautiful way to begin this evening. We want to say welcome. Welcome to everyone. We know we have so many folks here in Colorado joining us tonight, but we have people in Kansas. Woo! Give Kansas a shout out. And we have people in Texas, and we really have people from all over the world joining us tonight, which makes this really special. When we think about all the terrible things that have happened in the last year and why many of us are really suffering and thinking about how much we miss being together, how we miss being together as people of faith. But we have, through technology, found a way to do something like this. And it brings us all together. And we probably would have never, ever been able to pull this off in Denver any other way. So we are so happy that you're joining us tonight. My name is Kim Christensen. I've seen many of you on the screen. I know you already did a toast. So continue to toast. Enjoy your time together as families. And look at it this way. Nobody is looking at your shoes. You could wear anything on your feet right now, be completely comfortable, and you don't have to wear fancy shoes. So you're joining us tonight, and, and we are celebrating this extraordinary ministry. And I think we're going to leave here filled with faith and knowing that so many great people are taking the people that really need the help the most, serving them during these really difficult times. And you know what? Hopefully next year we'll all be together. But the fact that we were able to get everybody together from all over the world tonight, we say that's a blessing in a big way. So we want to tell you a few things about what we've gotten planned for you. This is really an extraordinary evening. We've got friends and benefactors from all over that are participating. In spite of the distance between us, uh, we are united and we are together tonight. We have a big extended family and friends and supporters, and this is all for the love and the mission of the Capuchins and the people they serve. You know, American author Henry Van Dyke once said, time is too slow for those who wait, too swift for those who fear, too long for those who grieve, too short for those who rejoice, but for those who love, time is eternity. And that's how we're going to look back on tonight and this year, because we are healthy and we love one another and we're taking care of one another. So we're going to celebrate the Capuchins and all of them following the timeless call to bring God's love and mercy to the poor and to the marginalized. We've got an incredible program planned for you tonight. It's going to be super cool. Spoiler alert, uh, you do have to stick around to the very end. And there's a good reason why, because this program has a special blessing from the friars. I'm not kidding you. If you leave without crying or without feeling good, then you haven't been tuning in. So you have to stick around for the very end. It's, it's the best. And here's the blessing of why we're doing it this way. For those of us that sometimes squint from a distance, we can't see their faces. You can see every one of their faces and that you will feel in a very different way. So trust me, stick around for the very end of the program. Before we get started, here are the housekeeping measures we need to tell you about. The silent auction, it closes at 8.30, 8.30 p.m. Mountain Time. That's um, coming up here in a couple of hours, an hour after the program finishes okay not only are there tons of just fabulous items you want to check out but this year for the first time ever the silent auction items will be available for pickup next week in denver colorado springs lawrence kansas victoria kansas and san antonio texas you can pick them up in the silent auction be sure to check out the friar adventure packages where you're going to have an opportunity to hike to dine, to go on a mission tour with the Friars. That sounds so amazing. And we have some exclusive brown robe items, including Capuchin chocolates. And they are out of this world. 
and reserve blends of white and red wine. Not enough of that in the world. And they are only available for purchase here and just for a limited time. And this is all compliments of our dear friends at Blanchard Vineyards. So we say thank you. And don't forget to buy your Road to Rome raffle tickets. This year's grand prize, a 2021 Jeep Wrangler. We pointed out it's 2021. And be sure to buy your tickets by 8.30. This is this critical time, 8.30 Mountain Time, to qualify for the October early bird surprise, a five-night getaway at a mini mansion in the mountains. Visit Road to, I'm making sure, Road to Rome Raffle.com. Rome to Rome. Let me get it right. I'm sorry. Road to Rome Raffle.com. And I haven't had any wine yet, people. Okay. That's how you enter. Y'all can get it right for me. All right. Now we want to recognize our generous sponsors who have helped to make tonight possible. Zacchaeus Promise, our presenting prom, uh, sponsors, Roy and Sue Jackson. They're in Arvada. They're my people. Okay. Footsteps of St. Francis sponsors, Mission Yogurt. Thank you to Ray and Rod Tafoya. Messengers of Mercy sponsors, Francine A. Hesterman. Partners of, Pia, of Padre Pio sponsors, John and Beth Herbaly, Robert W. Gibbons, and St. Jude Catholic Church. Also, Ann Mahler, she is Olinger Advantage Motoris and Cemeteries, Priester Foundation, Diocese of Colorado Springs. Instrument of Peace sponsors, Archdiocese of Denver, Joe and Mary Carey, Catholic Foundation of Northern Colorado, Focus, Chris and Bonnie Lang, Mother Cabrini Shrine, St. Francis Cabrini Catholic Parish. Thank you to all of you. And you know what? Normally at an event, y'all just don't listen so well during that part. And you're chatting with all of your friends. Finally, we got to really acknowledge our sponsors that made this happen. And there's not people jibber jabbering. Okay. Special thanks to our friends at the amazing parish for this amazing support tonight as well. So as we begin our program, we want to think about what Jesus sent out to his apostles out into the whole world to respond to really a timeless call of the poor, reminding them the poor you will always have with you. It was in response to the same call that the Capuchins braved our journey to the new world, serving the desperate needs of the earliest immigrants' populations. In response to the timeless call, the Capuchins reach out today, wherever the cry of the poor is heard. In the moment of his conversion, St. Francis of Assisi spent his life answering God's call to bring love and mercy to the poor, the outcast, and the abandoned. 800 years later, the Capuchin Franciscans still embrace that timeless call, going where a few others dare, being messengers of God's mercy and brothers to the downtrodden and, and forgotten. In the 1860s, that call brought Capuchins to the United States to serve the country's exploding population of immigrants. When a large group of German-speaking immigrants settled on the unbroken sod of Kansas, Capuchins followed. These immigrants struggled to make a home in a land whose customs and language were unknown to them, and where they lacked even the comfort of religion, since a priest would come around maybe once a month. Like the people they served, the friars arrived with few possessions, but working alongside the immigrants, they built churches, schools, and a better future for all. From this foothold in the West, the Capuchins spread into Western Kansas to serve the immigrant farm communities there. Eventually, they spread east to Kansas City and then to Lawrence, where they still have a significant presence today. But the timeless call drew the Capuchins beyond Kansas to Colorado. Fifty years ago, the Bishop of Denver was searching for a religious community to care for Annunciation Parish located in one of the poorest and most dangerous neighborhoods of Denver at that time. Divine Providence provided a matchmaker in the person of Mr. Jerry Roth, 
somebody asked dad, Jerry, do you know of any religious orders that might be willing to come to Annunciation Parish? My understanding is that there was not a diocesan priest that would take the assignment. Dad, of course, growing up with the Capuchins, mentioned the Capuchins. He was heavily influenced by the Capuchin friars as a young man serving mass. They were the pastors and ministered at his parish, um, the beautiful basilica, minor basilica of the Plains in Victoria. So very strong, faith-filled family. Most recently, the Timeless Call took them south to San Antonio, Texas. Yes, in responding to our call, we've uh, had three great wins coming to San Antonio, Texas. Besides the obvious advantages of the training at the Abbey School of Theology, uh, we've also been able to attract a good number of vocations from the area. Uh, three of the postulants this year come from that, that uh, great state of Texas. And uh, we've also had the opportunity to increase our ministerial outreach at Our Lady of Angels Friary. The reasons for going to these places varied and each of their ministries was unique, but the common thread running through all of them was the friar's desire to answer the timeless call to serve Christ in our suffering brothers and sisters. Your support is at the heart of the Capuchins Ministries and your presence tonight means everything. But we know we need to do a lot more to support the good work. So my friend and auctioneer extraordinaire, Gary Corbett, I wish I could say hi this way, but we can't. And that's why we're doing it this way, is going to take it away from here. Thank you, Kim. 15, 15, 15, 15. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen, we're not going to do it that way this year. You know, um, my grandfather always said life is a never ending series of adjustments and a timeless call is a great way to start this evening and talk about this evening because the Capuchin friars, that's their life a series of adjustments. And we're here to support the uh, formation of the, of the new Capuchins. That's what we're here for, we know. And we're gonna have a lot of fun and we're gonna do something special. We have five really great items uh, that we're gonna sell. We're gonna sell them pretty fast, just like we normally do with a little bit of an adjustment. So let's get started. You're ready to go at home. I know I have a lot of friends at home. I'm watching you, I can see you, I can feel that you're there and uh, so let's get started. Right off the bat, we have a barbecue bonanza. This is a Traeger 885 pellet grill and smoker, a uh, side of ham, meat cuts, large ham, ham steaks, pork chops, bacon, all kinds of breakfast sausage, uh, um, filet mignons and burgers and all. This is great for people who cannot tolerate vegetables. So this is wonderful. And we also have a $500 gift card to Applejack Liquors, which uh, I think is appropriate for this uh, uh, this evening. And uh, by the way, uh, you bid at home, you bid with your thumbs uh, and uh, you know, you can go back to your refrigerator as many times as you want. You don't have to sit there and uh, you can, uh, you don't even have to call Uber. So here's what we're gonna do. And this, by the way, uh, has been put together by Norma and Rick Rochford, Mary and Stephen Finders, uh, Terrence Kane and Lauren Sodazai, and I probably messed up their name, I apologize, Lucy Kane and the Provincial Advisory Council. So the bidding starts and right on your thumbs, keep doing. You've got until 7.15 to get your bids down. You can bid as much as you want. And uh, if you wanna hear what bidding is like, it's 15, one, 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 but just do it with your thumbs and your phones moving right along. You have till 7.15 to get that down. Right now, <clears throat> a night on Broadway for eight with John Fitzpatrick and Barb Fitzpatrick at their home, wine tasting, sing along with John Fitzpatrick's music and cocktails at Barb and John's home, along with Father Simeon Gallagher. And we know Father Simeon uh, 
is he's, he doesn't suffer from shyness. So I think you're going to have a lot of fun with Father Simeon. I know that for sure. And uh, by the way, Brother Mark Schenk is no shy guy either anymore. And uh, he'll be there. It's going to be a lot of fun. Variety of hors d'oeuvres, French Bordeaux, California Cabernets, and uh, from the Fitzpat Fitzpatrick's uh, extensive wine cellar, there seems to be a recurring theme here. Uh, so there's a Barb and John Fitzpatrick, thank you, and bid till 7.15. Go ahead, put your bids down, 100, 200, 3, 4, 5. Do it, the, do it at home, run in the fridge, do it how, however you want. We have one more item for 7.15, and then we're going to do a couple of other. You know, we're going to have a surprise guest in a little bit. I'll give you a little hint. It's uh, Brother Andrew Carriente, and uh, he's coming here, too. So, he, oh, this is so much fun, this item. Kim, this is one. This is great. Um, <clears throat> Brotherhood brought to you for a party for 50. This is the, uh, this is, you get to experience firsthand the beloved Capuchin Franciscans food truck. This is what the Capuchins were, are all about. They give and give and give, and they do it to so many homeless people throughout Denver. You get to select a cold meal menu for provided by the friars. Uh, Brother Joseph uh, Quinlan oversees the food truck ministry. And uh, this is restricted to 60 miles from Denver, but that's plenty of uh, uh, plenty of space for you to go. You've got till 7:15 to get your bids down. So get them down there and uh, push that button down. Now, here are two more items. These are really great, Brother Mark Shank. Uh, <clears throat> this is incredible. This is backed by popular demand, um, Brother Mark. Here's the deal, Provincial Minister Brother Mark Shank. He'll be your Capo Cuoco. Gina, how do I say that? That's not how you say it. That's not how you say it at all. <clears throat> this is why I'm an auctioneer. I, when I can't pronounce things, I just talk faster. But so as he prepares with, uh, with Nona Gambaro's uh, treasured family recipe for homemade lasagna, I can say lasagna. So that's pretty cool. I got that through. Savor the fruits of Brother Mark's 22 years working for the order in Rome. Sip delicious wines. Back to that recurring theme. Uh, wines, yeah, from his extensive, let's face it, the first miracle uh, that we know about was um, mixing up a batch of wine. So we know what this is all about. Italian treats from the Capuchins, lavish appetizers, Brother Mark's many anecdotes of his life in Land of St. Francis. Most of his anecdotes uh, are true. And uh, Grace Before Meal Special Mass by Father John Lager. The recurring theme, Lager, it's not a coincidence. That's his last name. And by the way, he said he has been a priest for 48 years. He told me he was 48 years old. We need to work on that. You can work on that at that party. So bid, you've got, this is great. We're going to do some live bidding here. So where are we right now? Where are we at the bidding right now? And where do I see this, Gina? Holy cow, we're at... Sue Jackson is 4450 already. All right, let's round that. Let's make that 4500. Now 45, 45 and now 5000. 55500 and now 5000, 5000 and now 5000, 5000 and now 5000, 5000 and now 5000. 5000 that we have it coming in. We have 5000. And now 6000, but it is 6000, 6000. Norma and Gina are over here on the side tell me about this. 6000 and now 6000, but it is 6000 and now 6000, but it is 6000 and now 6000, but it is 6000 and 6. 6000 and now 6000, 6000, 6000 and now 6000. Yeah, I tell you what. We're going to give you time. We're going to give you time. We, have, we're, we actually have 5450 right now, but we're going to extend this until 830. You've got till 830 to get this bid down. And let me tell you this, and I think Brother Mark has agreed to this already. The top two bidders will get this. So you get to do it twice. So we're already at 5450. So how much? I'm 5950. Wow. Let's round that out. So we're already at $6,000. I like round numbers. So it, it, yeah, if we get two of them, we have 12, 12 grand right there. Oh, that's so good. So the last item, this is really cool. And I think the best person to explain that is the person who's giving it. Brother Andrew Corriente. Watch. The winner of the Great American Baking Show Holiday Edition is... Brother Andrew! Are you there? Uh, 
I'm right here. There. Can you hear oh, me? There you are. Wow. <laughs> here I am. <laughs> wow, this is this is so cool. You you're you're coming all the way from Philadelphia, but you're you're somewhere else now. Where are you right now? I, I'm over in Pittsburgh right now, Gary. You're in Pittsburgh. Yeah, Excellent. yeah. Just we, one of our brothers is ordained a priest, so I was here right, for now, that. Look, yeah. I got to know a lot of the a lot of the you know, the, the Capuchins are. Uh, I mean, I, I know Brother Gus. He's a pretty good cook now, and he's he. I know yeah. all these, but you're uh, <laughs> world famous. This is going to be an afternoon for 10 with ABC's season five winner of the Great American Baking Show 2020, Brother Andrew Corriente. Brother Andrew, you can see him on the screen, I think. And uh, he's a cool guy. I can tell you that. <laughs> you blend faith and flour with Brother Andrew from our sister province of Pennsylvania. Brother Andrew will fly to Denver, spend an afternoon with you, your family and friends baking a confection of your choice. Uh, before the trip, uh, Brother Andrew will meet with you to Zoom about a Zoom meeting to learn about your baking dreams and then fix it. Yeah. So, oh, you can hear him. Okay, good. You know, Hello. Um, I, I was Hi. tired of listening <laughs> to me too. So go ahead. Okay. So I, I, I'll just start talking. Well, basically, um, I, I always loved desserts. I always loved um cakes, cookies, pies, and all that stuff too. But I never ever baked anything before religious life. And then so when I felt the calling in my life, I decided to enter posthumously. And when I entered posthumously, I was sitting in the chapel meditating. And um, the thought came into my mind was like, why don't you bake something? And so then after that, I, I went into the kitchen um, and then made, I think, pudding, like instant pudding. <laughs> and then the next morning I made something else. And then the next day I made something else. And then I just completely went crazy and I just didn't stop. And that was about seven or eight years ago. So I went from baking, um, like, you know, chocolate chip cookies, chocolate cakes, apple pies, and now to like, fancy stuff like macarons, peri breasts, uh, meal foil, all the fancy stuff too. But like, or for me, it's like, I, I just, I, I fell in love deeply with baking. I fell in love with the science. I fell in love with the, the passion and the tradition. Um, and for me, it's always just been a, a, an amazing, amazing journey. And I just love also the way that uh, my baking also teaches me about my faith teaches me patience, <laughs> teaches me humility, um, and teaches me how not to take myself so seriously. And um, I just, you know, like, I, I'm excited to, like, be with people because I love, love teaching people. Um, I know a lot, perhaps too much. Um, <laughs> my sister, my brother has called me a know-it-all uh, when it comes to certain things. Um, but I just love sharing my knowledge with people. I love seeing people succeed. I love teaching people how to bake um, and I just, I'm really excited to help people and um, to be part of it. Yeah. Uh oh, Marianne's in ever 2750. You know, Marianne, you're there. John, you and John just kind of right at the front table, right, right even in, in, in cyberspace here. So Gary, we're 27 and a half on 27. How about 3000? Remember 3000? Brother Andrew, you have some, yeah, you're cooking along, so to speak. You out. Uh, now 3,000, under 3,000, yeah. under 3,000, we're to 3,000. Mary Ann and uh, John Tafoya and everybody, you have until 8.30 to get your bidding down. And uh, how about a huge round of applause uh, for do, do your hand thing, do applause for Brother oh, Andrew. <laughs> Thank you. And now, so now we have, this is the special part of the night. This is, if everybody's at home could just, uh, kind of pay attention right now. You know, um, if there's a silver lining, it's not that COVID-19 is bringing us together. It's that we are reminded that we are together. And this is a timeless call. And the, this, this is what we're here for. We know why we're here. And uh, better to explain it would be Brother Mark again and his people accompanying him. Watch. One of the words frequently used to describe our world this year is unprecedented. For Capuchins, however, these times are hardly unprecedented. 
One might say, in fact, that we were born in times like these and for times like these, since one of the earliest ministries of the Capuchins was caring for plague victims. When the magnitude of today's plague, the coronavirus, became clear to us, the friars of the province rose to the challenge. The Capuchin food truck, normally used to feed the homeless, delivered thousands of meals to the elderly, disabled, vulnerable, and immigrant populations in Denver. The Capuchin Franciscans um, who changed my life. And what I mean by that, Gina, is I've never worked this closely with the Capuchins. I've never worked this closely with men who are so passionate about what they do. It didn't seem to matter who needed the food, and that touched my heart. This is everyday work. Nothing really changed other than that I'm a new partner. It's a timeless work. There's a timeless call. We're always going to have work. I do shudder to think what would have happened if we weren't able to partner with you and so many other faith-based organizations around the city that said, what's the need? We're here. Our hospital and nursing home chaplains redoubled their efforts to comfort the sick and dying. Friars spent extra hours in soup kitchens and homeless shelters. Our pastors have been called upon to comfort numerous families who have lost loved ones to the coronavirus. The area of San Antonio, Texas, served by the Capuchin Parish of Our Lady of the Angels, in fact, had the highest COVID death rate in the region. COVID-19 helps us see the marginalization. We're in one of the highest death areas, funeral areas of San Antonio because of COVID-19. But I personally have had a chance to work with people by helping with uh, financial grants, help, helping them hook up with the city of financial grants. The need is as real today as it was when the Capuchins were founded in the 1500s. Capuchins continue to answer the timeless call to serve where they are most needed. This brings me to a little good news, and God knows we all need a little good news this year. The good news is that, contrary to the experience of most religious congregations in the Western Hemisphere, our province is growing. Eighteen young men have answered the timeless call to become Capuchins in the province of St. Conrad. They could have opted for a nice paycheck and a comfortable life, but they chose to become friars instead. They accepted the challenge of taking vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience, and of feeding the bodies and spirits of their brothers and sisters in the world. A new generation is answering the timeless call. Eighteen young men, that is about one-fourth of the total number of friars in our province, and it is the highest number of young men in formation in our 43 years as a province. We are very proud of these young men for who they are, and more importantly, for what they represent. Tonight, we are asking you to help ensure that the timeless call continues to reach the hearts of young men so that their hearts can continue reaching out to the poor, the downtrodden, and the outcast of our world far into the future. So, this is why we're here. Um, <clears throat> you know, um, the uh, Capuchins are the real deal. I've come to know and love them. They, they, they do what Christ taught. No baubles and bangles, and they, they just are right there. They're in, they're in, the, in the trenches of life. In the midst of the coronavirus, more families and individuals seek more emergency relief than we've witnessed in our entire lifetime. The Capuchin men in formation work extra hours in soup kitchens, on the streets. They help in food pantries. The Capuchin food truck has delivered thousands of meals to the elderly, disabled, and homeless. They do this all the time, now even more so. Friar hospital chaplains are more resolute with each passing day. Regardless of the risk, working alongside healthcare workers, responding to, responding to emotional and spiritual needs of the sick, dying and spiritually troubled. Money raised tonight will ensure this work continues. So here's, here's the deal. The Capuchins have the largest formation, as Brother Mark said so well, in the history of the province, 18 men. It costs nearly $780,000 to educate these men. The Capuchins' formation deficit 
is nearly $515,000. So tonight's goal is to raise $250,000 in this special appeal. Now, a group of very generous donors came together and are offering a challenge. They will match every dollar raised up to $100,000. But we need to make money before we reach that match, till we receive that. So now's the time to give. Now you can give any, ten, any, any amount you want. You've got it on your screen or on your phone. You know how to do it. You, you know how to do that. And, uh, <clears throat> but let's go to some levels here. Is there anyone that would like to just match that $100,000? Just thought we'd start there. You know, Kim? Go big or go home. <laughs> well, right? you are home, but. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, well, I'm friends with her husband, Greg, and I know he's already kicking in 100 grand, there right? Okay, so that's good. So um, it gets easier now. How about $50,000? Anybody at 50000 so people are already bidding in. There's Larry Beardsley. Beardsley came in at $1,300. Rose Selenke gave $100 and another $50 Rose gave. And they're coming in uh, more and more. But let's, let's try the, 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 the levels first. How about $25,000? Let's see if there's any big ones at $25,000. So it's going to get easier. So here's, here's a, let's see what's happened here. How about, Kim, how about, do you think 10000 Sure. See how easy it's getting now? Yes. It's real easy at ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars. How about five? Five thousand. Now I know, Kim. Yes. You can put five thousand dollars on your credit card, and your spouse won't even know it. Sure. So look at that. It's we're already kicking in at look forty. Look at this. Forty-two thousand four hundred sixty-seven is already there. Oh my goodness. We're already, it just jumped up. Sixty-seven thousand dollars have already come in, and uh, it's coming. Now look at this. This oh, we have a thermometer. Can you see so that at great. home? Can they see that at home? Sixty-seven thousand five hundred sixty-seven dollars. We're going to reach that match real soon. We're at Robert 70... Miller, five thousand dollars. Unbelievable! Holy cow! They're coming in, and we have a number of people here already. K Wayne Wolberg oh. has given a thousand. Eighty-two. Oh, oh my, my this God. is so fun. We're we normally don't get to see this Judith. 80s. Look at that. Hold it. Hey, look at this. Kim, we're at $90,067. We're going to get it. Judith, oh, <laughs> Linda Banda gave oh. $2,500. And let's come. You guys, look at that at home. You, this is this is amazing. You know, uh, Ken and Dee, Dee Chisholm gave $1,000. Monsignor, Monsignor Bob Kinkle, he has a oh. vow of poverty and he gave $1,000. <laughs> Where did he scrape that up? So look at that. We're at 90. Oh, this we is just dead. went over $100,000. So double it now. Yeah. Let's so do we're it. already double. Oh my God. We're going to rate. This is records. Here we are in cyberspace, Kim. I love it. And we're doing this. Look at we're that. We're at $203,000. Lou and Becky Gherkin gave $1,000. Bernie and Bev Zarumski gave $600. John and Sue Schaefer, $500. Mary Elaine Armstrong gave $1,000. Look, John Allen, $5,000. And I, I have to look away from here. Look at this. Uh, and all right, there's Nancy Weaver gave 50 bucks. It all adds up. It yep. adds up. Keep going. Cindy Routson, uh, Ed, uh, you know, doesn't know there's it. But she gave $500. There's your friend, John Allen. Yeah, John there's Allen. Oh, yeah, look at them all. We right now, ladies and gentlemen, De uh, Deacon, Deacon Hal Goldwire, Mr. and Mrs. Mike Anna Van gave $2,500. Ladies and gentlemen, we're already up at $228,367 oh. right now. And I think we're going strong. The goal, I mean, that was a dream goal, Gina. Gina, this was a dream goal. You said 250,000. Look at this. Oh, Sue Jackson. Whoa. 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 All right. Sue and Roy. Sue and Roy Jackson. Now they asked <laughs> to remain anonymous, so we're going to respect that. But they just gave... <laughs> They just gave $20,000. <laughs> they do that every year. The Jacksons, amazing. Oh, um, amazing. So Look cool. at this. More and more, there's, they're just coming in like mad. So where are we now? We're at 228,517. I think that hasn't even been added in. Maybe it has been. But keep going. Keep going. Keep, keep going. It's keep really, coming. Gina, I think this is amazing. Look at this. We are at holding right now at 228,517. Get your thumbs oiled up. Run to the refrigerator. You don't need to call Uba. 
get yourself a cold beer, come back. And oh, uh, yeah, there we are now at two hundred and thirty one thousand six hundred and seventeen dollars. And this was. Um, oh, we do. Well, Mrs. Sharon Roach just gave a thousand dollars. Look at this. We're going to get to two fifty. Stephen, Stephen, uh, Emily Miller just gave fifteen hundred dollars. We're at two hundred forty-two thousand six hundred and seventeen dollars right now, and it keeps coming. But look at this. It just keeps. They're, they're coming. They're coming. It's coming. Gina, I think it's going to happen. Norma, they're sitting in the in the wings here. Uh, uh, oh, oh yeah. the Rochefort God. just gave a thousand dollars. They're always in there. We know they're going to kick in, and yeah, look at this. It's amazing. This is this is fun. This is so. I mean, fun. this is fun. I, we, I don't know. If, normally, when we're doing this on a stage, we don't get to see this. No, this we, so cool. we get. That's right. This is. Look, look at this. Uh, Chris Holly just gave a hundred dollars. That adds up. It keeps all adding up. Uh, Lloyd Swint gave a thousand dollars. Yeah, um, uh, look at that. Uh, we are now at. Two hundred forty-two thousand eight hundred seventeen dollars so and climbing, and climbing. Look at this, more can we and see more. The folks downstairs. I want to see the folks downstairs. Yeah, do we I'm see the folks? We can see them. Answer Robert the Miller calls. gave five thousand dollars. Kim. Look at this. We just got a. Call we just got a phone call for. So that adds to that. Is that in addition, Gina? Joyce, Joyce Ochiata just gave ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars. Is that jumping up over that? We got it in there. Okay, so that's in there. That's a two hundred forty-three thousand dollars. Let's jump it up. Let's get to two fifty. I mean, that was our Why goal. Not? Let's do it. What do you think? Keep those people downstairs yeah, keep, answering those phones. The people, yeah. Let's keep them busy. Yeah, they're on the phone. <laughs> Mike and Anna Van, they gave $2,500. I may be saying the same thing. Dr. Paul Camerata gave $2,500. Yeah, that's and, just incredible. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a, yeah, it's a, we're there. We're oh, yeah. Look there. at this. It's coming. Look at it. We're at $243,817 and going. This is so good. Look, look at this. Heidi Ann Prentup gave $100. And then Lori, oh, hey, Lori, how you doing? Lori Vieira's in there. Good to see you. Is Lori Vieira, yeah, yeah she just gave $500. A Sharon Roach, $1,000. Stephen Emily Miller, $1,500. I may have mentioned them earlier. I'm, I'm watching a stream here, so it comes, you yeah. know, but it's so exciting to watch them come. Uh, anything coming from downstairs? Wow, Lindsey Kane, $500. The uh, Rochefort's another thousand. There's Chris Holly at a hundred. Keep going. This is amazing. It's, it's just really this is this is incredible, right? Isn't this much fun? Oh, holy cow! Oh, wait a minute. The, they moved. Is it gonna? <laughs> you got me excited there. Is it gonna happen? No signal. We're There's so much this. money coming we're in, and we're not. Refresh. We're hitting refresh. We're here. We're close. Yeah, that's right. We're refreshing the numbers. That's right. Okay, look at that. It's a thermometer. Look at that. It's going up going up so what else is happening here so we've got uh, nancy weaver giving 50 bucks see that's the thing it all adds up how many people do we have you think kim how many people do we have out there in in oh, cyberland goodness. look at this there we go we're almost we're there. at hold on we're at 249 dollars 317 249 317 it's it's such a big number i can't say it look at this we are almost at the goal and I think it's going to happen. It's got to happen. I, I feel it. You know, I, I do too. I, I, this seriously, in this time, I think everybody has realized what's important. Yeah, I think so. And how so. do you get through without your faith? I mean, we couldn't, we couldn't do this without our faith and supporting the people that serve those that are most in need. I think so, yeah. So uh, this is like... I, you, you just think of what the friars do every day, the Capuchins, and you say, I've got to be a part of this. This is well, awesome. I, I, I tell you what, the friars. Here we go. Oh, hold on, I can hold feel on. it. I can feel it. We're oh, so yeah. Close. Yeah. We're so close. Ladies and gentlemen, here's where we are right now. <clears throat> we're at our goal here. I keep moving. We're you all two, get to toast when this happens. We're Everybody at 200, 249. Your, house. your neighbors will wonder what's going Hold on. Hold on here. Look at Kim. <laughs> look at this. We're at $249,917. We, we are $252,000. Yeah. 
Oh my God, and it's cr it's still it growing, $252,000. Hey, that's okay, we're gonna keep it open, right? Nick Hayes just gave $2,500. Oh, it's the best going, thing ever. Oh, this Let's is just this. kicking in. Oh, it just keeps going. We're at 253,817. Oh, this, awesome. this is, it is, it is awesome. I'll tell you what, it's just amazing. I don't even know when to stop. No, keep going, huh? What's, we have people, I keep looking over here. We, oh, look at there's people. Tom DeLine. Father Joseph Mary is down there. He. Tom DeLine he, just gave $1,000. Look at them down there. Oh. God. The phones, I love it. This is again, this is so much fun. Look at this. We're at two hundred fifty-four thousand dollars and going. It's just, it just keeps growing. Gina, did you ever think this was going to happen? <laughs> Honestly, I'll tell you what. There's been a lot of prayers here. There's been a lot of prayers, and these are these are prayers and they're doers. That's the most mm -hmm. amazing thing. And so are the supporters. When I heard Brother Andrew say he, in prayer, he yeah. discovered. The, he said to himself to do something and he was going to start baking. I think my whole family is hoping that in prayer, I start cooking oh, yeah. at the same time. I mean, he just inspirational. I'll tell you what, when I start cooking in my house, people start praying. <laughs> Look at this. The is... <laughs> prayer. Look at this. Oh, the calls are coming in. They're still coming in. So we're not going to quit here. We're at 254,000 or so calls coming from downstairs. Father Joseph Mary is downstairs and, uh, he's, he's man in the phones and, uh, He's one tough guy down there. I can watch him. He's so it's, it's, he keeps coming in here. You know, it's amazing. Uh, uh, Kim, I don't know when we're going to, when we are going to uh, stop here. I hope we got time. I'm, I'm They're going to keep it open, right? Gina for, and, yes. And so we stay online for the whole time. This is great. Well, let's hear some more there. Let's let, let's look, oh, look at this. Kim, we just jumped up $254,367 and growing Rose Lane just gave a hundred dollars. Even if you've given before, by the way, there's, you know, there's uh, redundancy is okay. If you've given in one category or if you've given one, you can do it again. William Primack gave $500. We are, are just shy of $255,000. I, I don't know, but I think when we're live and, and you know, in, in live, I think this is bigger. I think so, too. I think it's bigger. It's bigger. amazing. I, I just, you know. They yeah. just everyone is just their heart is in the right place and and our faith is guiding us and everybody's in a good place right now because so. you know what you have to be grateful you have uh, to find gratitude right now if you don't have that yeah. and well, robert and ruth kusenberger just gave ten thousand dollars we are at two hundred sixty-four thousand eight hundred and sixty-seven dollars and growing gina is having a heart cassandra lewis just gave a hundred it all adds up everybody right now give a hundred dollars everybody that's that you know i mean that's that's the price of one of one of greg feist's uh you know <laughs> neckties isn't it i mean let's go so i just love all these all, people all, all over it's it's, it's so all, broad it's, it's so great it's, 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 it's really, it really it. is it's incredible it, this is amazing to me it is amazing you know um kim when we look back on this year we're gonna remember it's this. gonna give new meaning to the phrase hindsight is 2020 <laughs> yeah well, but the captions sure. <laughs> can look back and think of this as a timeless call yeah. I mean, this has been amazing it is amazing look at this we are now mary carey gave five hundred dollars I wonder if she, all her family are, uh, have rhyming names. Mary Carey, <laughs> Gary Carey, Jerry Carey. Eugene Roth just gave $100. We're at $265,567 and growing. And I think we're going to keep go doing this. I mean, until, um, why, why stop, right? I mean, it's just, just. We're going to check with the phones right now. Run down, check with the phone room. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's just so neat to see all these. And I hopefully people are recognizing some of these names and folks that haven't been able to see. I mean, this is the other thing. You can't see the people that you love. And it's just so cool that, you know, now you kind of, we all feel together in this. Yeah. And this is a part of it, you know. Well, I mean, I think, Kim, you know, honestly, it does illustrate that we are together. We I mean, are. We're together spiritually, emotionally. Uh, you don't have to be physically in the no. same room. And it's, it's obvious and it's real. And it's not, not just smoke and mirrors. It's real. No, it's, it's true. It's incredible. Yeah, this is so special. Yeah. To All see right, ladies and gentlemen, we're at $267,917 and growing. 
I just heard from Gina and Norma. Trish Rogers just gave 250 bucks. There you go. Wow. 250 bucks. Yeah, that's a night out. Most people haven't been out for like nine months. <laughs> no, they haven't. Yeah. <laughs> Bill Roth. Bill Roth just gave oh, $2,500. Wow. We're at $269, $417, probably more than that. But it, uh, the thermometer, I don't, I'm not sure if it's keeping up with the basement. So it's not. So we're more than that. Oh, they keep see. We have really high tech thing here. We we are here at the at the friar. This is the is this the friary? This is the admin building. Friar is right next door. Okay, prayers are going all over the place here. They're shooting around you here. You feel right? good here? Don't oh yeah, yeah I, feel oh, I feel great. Good yeah, here. Yeah. yeah, I feel really feeling good. Feeling good. Here. Yeah. So we're yeah. too, it's and it's still coming. I, you know what? I'm I'm pretty sure. I'm 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 guessing that we're, the 300,000 mark is not out of street. No, it's not, not out by of the reach. end of the I mean, night, I don't think so. Yeah, this is great. Judith Pottle, she gave $5,000. I think we mentioned that for Linda Bandy, $2,500. These are probably already in there. Mm -hmm. uh, Mary Beth uh, Yerusha gave $100. Uh, Constance Ehrlich, $500. All these are coming in. Daniel Shippers, $500. I mean, the names, I'm just looking them over here. Uh, John Dixon. Fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah. And Sue Jackson, Sue, your uh, your name keeps popping up. She I just know. keeps, you know, she she gave a hundred bucks on top of her twenty thousand. Yes. And two, <laughs> oh, here's another thousand. There's another and another fifteen hundred from from Justin Dixon, and uh, Disperger. Now Sue Jackson just maybe gave another hundred. She just she's you know what she's got her thumb stuck on a phone. She just keeps Why it not? right there. Yeah, feels Roy, good. Yeah, Roy, good don't control to her tonight. Yeah, Mike and Anna Van, $2,500. Yeah, look at this. Corky Thompson, $1,200. Corky Thompson. Corky Thompson, $1,200. Wow. The numbers are just. Yeah, there up. you go. We're, ladies and gentlemen, here's where we are right now. Without the numbers coming in from the basement. Oh, I, I can't. I was going to say it, but it keeps growing. We're at $271,717. What? Holy cow. Greg Kostelecki. Okay. Did I say his name right? Yeah. Greg Kostelecki. What is it? Greg and Paula Kostelecki. And, and if I if I messed up your name, uh, I'm sorry, but you just gave ten thousand dollars. That brings us to two hundred eighty two thousand two hundred and seventeen dollars. Kim Christensen is tearing up. I am. I'm I sorry. This is just the coolest thing I've that. ever seen. Two hundred eighty two two sixty seven. <laughs> I just, yeah, I just. Kathleen Lane, 50 bucks. You know, that's the thing. All those 50, $100, 250, they all add up. And from all over the, all over the world, we're talking about. This is really extraordinary this is to incredible. see something really like is. this and to be a part of it. We're thinking of all of you because I can't imagine what it feels like everybody in their homes right now and being a part of this and joining this and knowing that they can all be participating from so many places, Texas, Kansas, yeah. around the world. I mean, our opening was from Rome. <laughs> amazing. Um, amazing. Father Renario, I'm not going to say it right, I don't think, but anyway, that was just beautiful. Oh, I've butchered so many names Father already. Andrew and from everyone and to realize that um, truly it is like this universal moment. Too. It really is. Uh, there's never in our lifetime, there's never going to be a time, I don't think, where we're all in the same situation, knowing what it's like to all feel, you know, for some reason and in I the think, whole world. Yeah. I mean, I feel it in our own family. Yeah. I think it, it's it, don't you feel closer to your family where ladies and gentlemen, we are at two. Yes. I mean, I think we've changed a lot of things, you know, but we've changed things for good. Look what we've changed right here. We're at 292,000. We're at 293,000. It's happening so fast. I can't say it. $293,167. Yeah. The yes. Jacksons gave what? 10,000. Holy cow. <laughs> Sue and Roy, Sue and Roy, I won't even mention it. I'm not going to mention your names. I'm not going to say anything. Uh, but I'm going to let her. Are they with know. Father Mark? That's why, right? Yeah. Father Mark is probably just standing exactly. there. Not just silently, right? So, yeah. <laughs> the Jacksons gave another. He's got nothing anonymous. to say. No, the Jacksons gave anonymous, anonymously, didn't they? <laughs> another $10,000 from the Jacksons <laughs> just came in. Is that in that number? Okay. <sighs> it's in that number, but we're, we're growing. Sue and Roy, hi. 
<laughs> you guys are amazing. Okay, so we have, we are right now $293,167. Anything coming in from downstairs, Gina? Norma's running down. We have a whole bunch of people here in the admin building. Oh, Donald Rank, one of the Friars' parents, gave $100. How about that? Um, and this is David and Sharon Ehler. And they have also, oh my gosh, I can't figure out where I'm looking at these numbers, but $150, thank $150. you. These people are calling in and yeah, I'm looking so at this. Kim, you're now an official auctioneer. You're pulling it in like mad. Yeah, you know? no, I. that's just so beautiful. Yeah, it is. it's awesome. Yeah, it is. It's, it's just a beautiful We're waiting for, I think Norma's coming it. in with more numbers. I know I was told the, to, the eyeballs right there to look at, but I can't help it, I'm looking. What's happening? Another 150. Here? Another 150. Uh, Janice Sweckbaugh. Okay. Thank you. Highlands Ranch. I mean, so now I'm looking at these things Lakewood, Highlands Ranch, and we've just been coming in from all over. I know. You know everybody's yeah. in all different parts participating. So I think there's, a, there's still, are there still some numbers? There are. They're running around like little. By the way, Gina Francis, Norma, all the staff here. They deserve all Oops. your prayers and applause. What they do is remarkable. Yes. I mean, it, it's, it's to pull true. this off. This, this whole thing. I mean, honestly, we know it's not perfect. Kim's a pro. What she does is perfect. Every no, time she's on nine no, news, it comes nothing, off. You know, it's like how we've all learned to get along in it's, this world where you can't necessarily hear somebody. You need to unmute somebody. You need to mute somebody. You need to, but we're figuring it out. That's we are. We're yeah, figuring we it to. out and we're making it happen. And something like well, this could not have happened. And we're finding out it's not perfect. Nothing's it just perfect. it just isn't and that's all right our world is not perfect and the well, that's caption... why father andrew mentioned how baking taught him patience and yeah. you think about that like the 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 patience to yeah. do what the captions do every day their yeah. patience yeah it, you know it is like and we pray for patience all of us do but some days we don't have it. Well, okay. I, I, <laughs> I, I mean father blaine and and uh, brother gus and uh, brother anthony and uh, brother uh, jo uh, Joseph Mary and uh, I've had so many tours uh, uh, you know Father Christopher is it Father Christopher he's not yeah yeah I saw him with his beard he's got a long beard he looks like he looks like David Letterman in retirement now but it's so cool what they do is amazing I mean honestly I, 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 I haven't told many people this, but, you know, I spent three months in a Catholic seminary and the clouds opened up and said, have you tried auctioneering? I think that was my <laughs> vocation. But the Capuchins are what Christianity is all about. This morning, just because of preparing for this, I listened to the Sermon on the Mount. The Capuchin friars mm. live the Sermon on the Mount. It's not all the, the, the wealth and the, you no. know, and uh, it's, it's. They've sacrificed it. Yeah. You know, it's what Christ taught. It is. And they don't answer the call. They, they answered the call. They do. And I mean, it's just, they're the real deal. The brown robes, they're not fancy, but they're right there. They're, yeah, in, they they're, are. they're, they're in the trenches. So we're at $293,517. And I think numbers are still coming in from uh, downstairs. It's not, it's not high tech. No, we're, we're not high tech fine. here. Hey, I need my calculator on my phone for the basic things. I, Pull it up. So. Christine Hadley, 200. Peter Mice's mother. Oh, these Father Peter's mom, all these folks. I mean, they've got to be so proud. Oh, yeah. Can you imagine if you're a parent? No. Of, I can't. Of, uh, saying this, you must be so proud. Yeah. I can't even begin to imagine the pride you feel. Yeah. So, what's. What are we? Well, are we going to talk to Father? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, guess where we are? Kim, would you like to tell them where we are no. right now? We are $295,383 right now. And this is our dream goal was two fifty. dollars from Greg Fenslot. 333 from Greg Fenslot. <gasps> I love it. Okay. We're Robert almost... Miller, $2,500. We. I'm sorry for the hesitation here, but we're getting numbers. We are at two hundred ninety-seven thousand nine hundred eighty-three dollars, oh and Norma's on the phone. 
Gina and is this smiling. is a reminder that we're going to hear from Father Mark again here. But then the reason you stick around not only is for the silent auction, but I'm telling you, after celebrating these numbers for the ending, the ending is just what we all need, this oh, blessing right. at the end. Yeah. So that's why we stick around for just a little bit longer. It's going to be fantastic. Everybody's going to it love is. it. But this is to watch well, this I, and to be a part of this. The, every every year, it's a, it's, a, it's a prayer. It's a song. It's beautiful. And... Ladies and gentlemen, we are at $298,100 right now. I think the prayer at the end, Kim, that you will be introducing in a minute is going to be a prayer of that's thanks. Way, that's just it. It's going to make us all realize how grateful we are and to have been a part of this and um, to know that this ministry is going to continue in the darkest of times. You know, I'm staying, I, I, I flew in yesterday and I'm staying in downtown Denver and I'm walking around and I'm looking at all... It's downtown Denver is like a tent city. Uh, it's and the Capuchin Friars are there. Yeah, they're not sitting in some sort of a ivory tower. They're there. Yeah, and, uh, you know, uh, it's it's those battles they have in every city where people are saying, "Well, I understand that they might need to live somewhere, but probably not next to me." And, and that is not how they view it. It's no. like, you know what? You don't know how that person is experiencing. They know going them by through. name. Yes. And, 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 what and guess what? Guess where we are, ladies and gentlemen, right now. Let me look at you out at home. You can give yourselves a round of applause Please right do. now, but we're not stopping. But right now we are at $301,600 and counting. Gina? That's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. Phones are still ringing downstairs. So. Yeah. Did you hear that? Maybe no. Kim, you want to say that? They'll receive yeah. right now. We are the end of next Saturday. So um, maybe you can tell somebody else that couldn't be a part of this tonight. Tell them exactly what's happening, the importance of this ministry, yeah. and why they might want to be a part of this. I mean, this is our time. I mean, it is. I, Phones are still you know, recently I heard yeah. um, our pastor say, you know, God never told us how to reach out to somebody. There's no you specific the, rule. You don't have to say, I have to do this or to share my faith. And there are no rules. No. This is the time. It is the time. And guess, <laughs> and guess where we are right now? $302,600. Right and now, in counting, and I didn't see that. And we're gonna go to Brother Mark. It's his time. He's been staving up all of his energy. Kim, you're, um, <laughs> Kim, you're a dream to work with. And uh, to say, thank you, Gary. Honestly, so but good. look at the team. I this mean, this is so great. I, this you know, has been a really special night. We're out front, but the team here is they're they're the ones that deserve the applause. Thank you, Brother Mark. There he is. There he is. What a wonderful evening this has been. <laughs> Every Brown Row benefit has its share of uncertainties, but as the very first virtual gala, this one was more unpredictable than usual. If ever there was a time when we had to place our trust in God, this was it. Yet thanks to you, tonight was a great success. We are humbled by your generosity and very grateful for your support. So my thanks go out this evening, first of all, to all those who tuned in to participate in the Brown Road Benefit and who gave so generously this evening. Thank you for believing enough in what we do and what we represent to support us. I also want to thank all the sponsors for this evening. I won't name them individually, but you saw their names and heard them on the screen at the beginning of the evening. Many of these sponsors have been with us for many years and have helped us not only financially, but they become good friends and trusted advisors. Although tonight's program lasted only 90 minutes, well, a little bit more than that, maybe, an army of volunteers spent thousands of hours to make this evening a success. I'm confident that we will have an occasion to show our thanks in a tangible way later, but I want to thank the volunteers for giving us so much of their own precious time out of the goodness of their hearts. You are truly an inspirational group of people. The last few weeks have been all hands on deck in the provincial office. Each member of the provincial staff put in extra hours and took on extra duties to get ready for this evening. I'm so very grateful to have such a dedicated staff, people who see themselves as more than just employees, but as part of a mission. Of course, special thanks to our director of marketing and special events, Gina Francis, 
who managed to pivot from a live event to a virtual event in a few short months. Not only was she able to put together this fabulous uh, event this evening, but she did it while launching the Road to Rome raffle. She's like one of those jugglers who keeps a chainsaw, a machete, and a, an ax in the air at one time. I don't know how she does it. Thanks to Gary Corbett, who willingly accepted the challenge of adjusting to this new online format. As I said at the beginning of the evening, we could not imagine a Brown Row benefit without you. So thank you, Gary. Finally, thanks to our gracious MC for this evening, Kim Christensen. She won us over last year, so we were extremely grateful that she accepted our invitation to join us again this year. Thank you, Kim, and now I'll give it back to you. Thank you, Brother Mark. Thank you. It's my privilege, my privilege and honor to be here tonight and to be with all of you. Um, this is the moment that we talked about before, and I kind of want to leave you with a couple of important thoughts as we close out this evening. First of all, I hope you are safe and healthy. I hope you all remain healthy and strong in your faith. But we want to thank you for joining us this evening because it is the support of the lives and the ministries of the captions. They may be the feet that tread where few else want to go and the hands that reach out to the overlooked. But you, you really are the lifeblood that gives them the energy to make this work possible. It is only together that we are able to respond to that timeless call of Christ and do something truly beautiful for God. So thank you for being a part of this very special event. As we close, we are gonna turn to the friars, as we always do in moments of joy and in moments of suffering, to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Queen of the Friars Minor, asking for her special intercession with this ancient hymn. Thank you and God bless. Ooh. Mm -hmm.